Well, Dom, it seems a bit weird saying welcome to Forest Green when you've been with us for, for two weeks, but welcome. How did it feel to get the deal over the line? Yeah, I'm happy, happy to you know finally get something done. Um, even being away, like you said, with yourself, it's, I felt like I've, it's homely. Um, players have been so welcoming. Um, and I've felt like I've learned a lot already in the past two weeks. And a Gloucester boy coming back home almost, isn't it? Yeah, uh, so I was saying to my family as well, it's right around the corner, which is ideal for me as well, because um, I've always been like, even travelling on the road kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it's around the corner. I've always kept an eye on Forest Green, um, having been around the corner as well, seeing how well the club uh, has been, it being itself a unique club, um, doing things differently, which is, which is some, something I'm about. So the idea of this interview is to let fans know a little bit more about you, where you've come from, that kind of thing. So let's go right back to the start. Growing up, football, yeah. was it always what you wanted to do or was it the, the standard playing in the backyard? Well, it started off, uh, you know, obviously when I was younger, just kicking the ball. Um, yeah, I mean, once people start saying, you, you know, you're quite talented, you, you kind of just love it even more. Um, so, you know, football grew on me, um, playing locally, um, see Treadworth Tigers, which is around the corner as well. Um, and then eventually getting signed for Birmingham. Um, that was taking it to the next step, really, which kind of went to the serious, taking it serious. Um, and from then, it's always been well, a big part of my life. So that step to, to Birmingham, how did it come about? When did you realise that that was a possibility? Was it someone in particular who, who spotted you? Or Yeah, I think one of the scouts were at the game. Um, she said, we, we, like the, we like the look of you, um, come down, uh, take it further. And eventually signing me, I think it was in a week, um, getting someone across the line with Birmingham. Obviously, I think I was 12 years old, 13. So quite a young age as well. Um, and then from there, I think I was in Birmingham for eight, eight, nine years. So, I mean, Birmingham was always a massive part of my career so far. So it's always, it, themselves, it feels like home, obviously traveling that way as well. But, um, but yeah. Yeah. And what's academy football like? And was there a pre did you feel any pressure at that age? Because it's a young age to be sure. almost panning out your career, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I mean, at the time, at that age, it was almost you're still taking it. It's, it's still fun. Mm. Um, but obviously, to get as a player, you play. You, you're having different training drills. It's more serious. It's more uh, mentally, you know, as well as physically as well, um, challenging. But as you get older, you see the you know, where it can get to, where you want to get to, and it just grows on you. Um, and then, you know, you just take it from there, really, in stages and see how far you can really go. When did you lock down your position? I suppose you still haven't locked down your position <laughs> if you said you could play left back, right sure. back, centre back, you know? Sure, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, my main position is, is full back, um, right back. Um, I see full back playing, you know, right, right back. It's like a winger playing on left wing, right wing. It's pretty much a similar thing. Um, but from a young age, it's uh, the clubs I've been at, they've played me in certain positions where they see me as well. Um, so I've kind of built that skill, if you like, of being versatile um, through the years. Just, just experience different positions. I mean, as a defender, you, it's, you, you may roll this keep out the goals, really, but you know, the more adds to it with the philosophy you play, and you, you gain more from, from training with that, that position itself. And we were just talking about Achilles injury at an early age. Yeah. Talk us through that. How much of a setback was that? And how did that feel at that time when, when it happened? Oh, it was a, it was a massive setback for me, um, especially I think going so smoothly. Um, felt great at the time. Uh, I think I was you know traveling with the first team, Birmingham first team at the time, um, looking to obviously in the round for my debut. Um, but yeah, he was, he was in training. Just out of, out of the bloom, out of nowhere, it happened. Um, but you know, injuries come with football. Isn't like I said, it was a massive impact of my career. Set me back almost ten months. Mm. So it's a, it was mentally uh, mentally draining, um, just because you you see the lads go out of training and you know it's going to take a while to get back out there. Um, but recovered from it, thankfully. Um, you know, obviously, I think I did that in two thousand and sixteen. So. It's quite a while ago, um, built from it, kind of build, built on my game. I knew obviously I had to get the everything back, just get game time, get back to use of training, touching the ball again. Um, but at the time, it was almost, you know, my family got got me through it really, with the people being around me. Um, 
because it was a it was a tough time at the, you know, at the time. Like you say, you recovered from it, and then a loan move to to order shop last season. Yeah. Um, how important was that to get away and get some real game time under your belt and that experience? It's, it's priceless, isn't it? Yeah, it was massive. I mean, I think it was as soon as I I was on the verge of running again. It was my ambition just to get back and and get out and get that game time, that men's football that I I really need. Um, you know, having suffered that injury, an older shot they obviously came in with the low move which was I'm thankful for them because it helped me not as a, obviously a person but obviously on the as a player as well um, on the pitch um, and, it, and it built it built me my confidence back up as well knowing that I can go there play I think it was 35 games 36 games for them um, you know consistently not a worry didn't have any worries in my head about the injury at the time so it's kind of I knew it was, I was getting back on track to where I wanted to where I want to be again how important was this summer then, when you are a free agent, you've got to go and work out where you want to go next and, and how did the Forest Green opportunity come up? So yeah, uh, like you said, free agent, I just literally had to, it, felt, it feels like I didn't have a summer because I was working so hard just to stay on top of my body, uh, maintain it um, fitness wise as well, which I feel probably the best I've, I've ever felt. Um, it came about with agent speaking to obviously the manager, hoping to, to get me in, obviously being local as well it helped. Um, like I came away with the boys. Uh, I was only supposed to be in for Monday, Friday. Asked to come away, um, and yeah, just built built on there. I was really impressed and got myself a uh, contract at the club. How was that week down in Woodbury Park? Is it nice to be in that environment? You're not just like the the training on the pitch. It's being in the hotel. It's rooming with new people. Yeah. It's watching Love Island in the yeah. evening. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. that kind of stuff. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. No, it is. It's massive in football as well. With the and I can already tell as well. The team is is you can see the unity and, and it's unique as well from any club. Obviously, Birmingham Old Shot as well. Really close together. Um, and I think that's massive in football as well. When you you get yourself into a team, you settle down. You know what everyone's about. Um, getting used to each other around the, the, the training ground kind of thing. It really builds and it's massive in football as well. You, I don't think if you don't have that unity and togetherness then nothing can work in, in the game. And do you feel like you're coming to Forest Green with a real drive, with a real purpose to, to prove yourself and mark, make your mark now? Massively, yeah. Um, it's, a, it's a great platform for me. Um, it's almost like a stepping stone as well. It's a, like I said, it's a great club. To be at, I mean, it's a family club, and every you can tell the the fans are. It's really homely. They're all together, and hopefully, it's a it's a it's a platform for where I can show show my ability out on the pitch. Well, starts tonight against Yate. I'm sure it's on the play. The fans saw you against Supermarine on Saturday, and we look forward to the season starting now. Cheers, thank you. <laughs>